some moments, you'll hear Ed Curry giving directions in Spanish. No pisca la primero. La, pr la primero 16 sucos es especial. Other times, it's English. You guys can walk to the other side and come back. Then back again. When you get a real sweet flavor and a little bite behind it, it's awesome. But the language that rolls off Ed Curry's tongue most fluently is probably heat, the bright burning soul of chili peppers. We got some that are really mean. They just, they, they hit you and they don't turn loose. And they don't turn loose for a long time. How hot will a pepper be? Ed says without tasting, the best way to guess is to look to see how far down the length of the yellow white fibers does the capsaicin oil go. Capsaicin oil is what makes chilies hot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If it's a ten, it's really hot because the capsaicin goes all the way to the end. If it's if it's an eight, then it's up here. If it's a very mild one, it would be like a two. The other thing we watch for is how wide that band of heat is. So the further that goes down, the hotter it is. Ed Curry is into genes. No, not blue genes. Genes like finding and refining the genetic traits of chili peppers. What we're trying to do here is, is improve this. Jalapeno, ancho, serrano, and many more varieties. Several of the major brands of canned and jarred chili peppers used by major restaurants and grocery stores are varieties Ed and his team have perfected here on the family farm in Pierce, Arizona. 90% of the breeding seeds for green chili peppers in America come from Curry Farms. My dad started growing chili in 1957. I was born in 56. So since I was one year old, I've been in the chili field. And that's partly why we do this. My mother and father loved this. Chili's what made their life. They moved here from Oklahoma. They started growing pepper. Ed started young on this quest. Ed's expert breeding is also at work to create chili peppers that have certain shapes and sizes that large food suppliers need. More than heat, it's what we're doing in breeding is it's about flavor. It's about flavonoids and, and, and what makes it good, you know, uh, besides just the heat. Another part of the industry that we deal with extremely is, is the color part, the color extraction. For many companies, they want to extract this red dye so it, it becomes usable for makeups, for lipstick, for those kind of things. It's real important, especially for the ladies that this goes into makeup on, that we take the heat out. Otherwise, they're gonna have hot lips. <laughs> now, I've been told that I, they, some of them don't need my pepper to make their lips hot, but. <laughs> This part of the state is ideal for growing peppers. High elevation, cool nights, more rain than most of the rest of the state. There's a lot of science behind these flavors. Ed's at work finding new flavors and even new ways to ease your aches and pains. It's mainly for aching muscles. There's, there's some new studies showing that they can use capsaicin for local anesthesia on topical surgery. Uh, lot of uses for capsaicin. Once the peppers are out of the field, they come here to the farm's processing plant. The flesh and pulp are separated, heated, and dried. Much of this will go into chili powder and paste. We range from extremely hot to extremely mild. And, and what we like to do, my favorite, what many of the, the canners are wanting is that, that, that medium heat. With, with a little bit of sweet flavor behind it. And, and that's what we've been breeding for, is to, to get that little niche. But the real treasure is here. The genetic genius of what's inside these seeds that will go to other growers in the Southwest and the rest of the country. Ed Curry has never stopped being fired up about chili pepper. He keeps this rig at home to roast and taste what comes out of his fields. Water and some foods may be able to quench some of the burn in the hottest chilies growing on this farm, but nothing will ever douse the passion this man has for this strange and spicy plant. Arizona Highways Television is brought to you by Arizona Public Service 
and the Arizona Office of Tourism.